These are the Rabbit Laser Engravers. Let's review the basic startup and operating procedures. To activate the computer, insert your CMU ID into the card reader. The clearance indicator light will turn from blue to green, and the computer will boot. Log in with your Andrew ID and password. To turn on the laser engraver, switch the key to on. The machine will energize and the head will home to its absolute limits. Next, make sure the series of buttons are depressed. Socket switch, laser power switch, and lighting. Raise the lid and place your material on the bed. Position your piece anywhere on the bed. Try to align squarely with the X and Y axis. To focus, use the arrows on the keypad to move the head to the center of the piece. Press the ZU button. Use the arrow keys to scroll through the menu. Select autofocus and press enter. The bed will automatically rise, pressing the focal plunger, then drop to optimal focal length. Next, we will set the origin. Use the arrows on the keypad to move the head to the desired starting point. It is good practice to keep a quarter of an inch away from the edge. On the keypad, select Origin to set the location. On the computer, launch RDWorks. In RDWorks, you'll see the main work area, menus, tools, layer settings, and output options. Go to File and Import. Select your files. RDWorks works well with vector graphics and can handle bitmap images as well. Common file types are DXF and JPEG. Click Open. The file opens onto the layout screen. You can import multiple files into your job. Once the file's size and placement are correct, we can set up the job to print. Check to make sure the actual color of the vector lines matches that in the layer settings. Bitmap images will read as BMP. Select a layer to bring up its parameters and settings. These are the layer settings for our JPEG image. If you want a layer to print, make sure output is set to yes. Adjust speed accordingly for the material and its thickness, as well as the type of operation, cutting or engraving. Since we want this layer to engrave, processing mode should be set to scan, and the air assist blowing is on. Only one power setting should be checked, and the min and max powers should match. Click OK to apply. Next, we'll check the settings for the vector line layer. Output should be set to yes. Adjust speed and power accordingly. And the processing mode is set to cut. Click OK to apply. Below in our output options, we can select where our part will cut. Since we want our part to cut where our set origin is, select Anchor Point. Path Optimized is checked, and Output Select Graphics is unchecked. Output Select Graphics only prints what parts are highlighted in the file. Finally, to send our job to the laser engraver, Click Download. A document name window will appear. Give your job a name, up to eight characters. Click OK. A dialog window will appear, stating your job successfully downloaded to the laser engraver. Find the downloaded part by pressing File 
and then using the arrow keys to scroll. Press enter to load. The image of the file will appear on the screen. Press frame on the control panel. The head will run along the outside perimeter of the file, allowing us to check part placement. Gently close the lid. Once setup is complete, it's time to run the job. Press the foot pedal. The foot pedal must remain engaged while the machine is operating. Press start. The laser will begin running the job. Remember to always monitor your job while the laser engraver is running. If you leave a running laser engraver unattended, you will lose your access privileges to the laser engravers. If you remove your foot while operating, the laser will come to an immediate stop and you'll hear an error beep. The job can be continued without restarting. Press Enter, re-engage the foot pedal, and press Start on the keypad to resume. When the job is completed, the head will return home and you'll hear a beep. When done, remove your parts. Use a vacuum to remove any small debris. To turn off the machine, depress all three power buttons. And turn the switch to off. Log out of the computer, and don't forget your ID card. If you have any questions about the laser engravers, please ask any of our friendly TechSpark staff members.